What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? Thank you for joining me again on my Block Strongest Man today. Before we get into today's topic, two really super quick reminders. One is TubeBuddy. So TubeBuddy, in my opinion, is the greatest Chrome plugin for your YouTube channel to increase your productivity and efficiency in building your channel quickly, much more quickly than you would without it. It has a lot of great features like a keyword explorer, bulk editing tools, advanced analytics, and the ability to create more custom thumbnails. Their free version is great and they have an upgraded pro version which is still super cheap it was nine dollars a month last time i checked so check the link in my description below and download tubebuddy today my second quick reminder is about spreadshirt.com so if you like my design with the every man strong man of the block carrying the recliner and you were wondering if you could have that on a t-shirt mug or other accessories it's available, so check out my link to Spreadshirt in the description below for that as well. I greatly appreciate the support there as well. So on to today's topic. Enjoy. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my block, Strongest Man, where we discuss using objects all around your property to get in that workout. Remember, burning some calories is better than burning no calories. So today what we're going to do is get back to basics. We're going to get back to lifting something in the patio. Today we're going to do a squat with the patio tape. So here's what we do to warm up. We get all the chairs out of the way. That's a good warm up. Get the muscles nice and long. Pull loose the chairs. Move the bench out of the way. And this table's cast aluminum, but, you know, which doesn't sound as heavy as steel, but um, it's heavy. Even the chairs are heavy, so I can, uh, I can get a chair up, but it's heavy. And then continuing the warm-up, we're going to get this umbrella taken off. So we'll close this all the way down and get the blood flowing a little bit by closing down the umbrella. Sticky, so we'll pull it down. And there we go. And then the umbrella has this little pin that we have to pop to pop it out right in here. All right, and that was a little harder than it had to be, but we got the umbrella out. And uh, I don't need no damn citronella. Stay out of here. And then, of course, we want to get the table off the base. So we'll have to raise it up. Pop the base out. All right, we've removed the base. I mean, we've removed the base. So now... We can flip the table over and turn it around so you can see it has this bottom basket on it. So to get it on my back to squat it, we'll want to get the big flat part on my back. So I'll turn that around and we'll just pull it back a bit, shimmy it back a bit. And that way the camera can see what we're doing. And uh, caveat, I've never tried this before, so we'll see how well it goes. I can't promise anything, but it feels like from handling it, I should be able to do it. It's, it's heavy enough, but not that heavy. But it's big and bulky, right? So it's good enough to get that great workout in. You pick up some big bulky item on your yard, and, and you lift it, and you get that workout in. So let's give it a try. All right, so we'll swing it over. And then the trick is just to try to figure out how to get this big bulky thing up. And I'm going to try grabbing down here first. And that seems to work. And it seems like a good kind of balancing trick would be just to hold it with no hands. This is kind of fun. Get rid of my glasses as well so we don't break those. And I'm going to try to whip it down a bit so I can 
get a hold of the top, slide it over a little more, and There we go. So, now that I have a good hold of it up high, we can try to do some squats. So we'll get in our shoulder width position, go down to 90 degrees, as close to as we can. This is a good workout. The balance is hard. Try to keep my gaze up like you would with a squat. And that's taking some pressure off my lower back, which is good. And that was 12 reps squatting the aluminum picnic table. So, just another great idea walking around the yard seeing something big, heavy, and bulky that can make a good workout and it lived up to the promise. I think another day I might try to press this overhead but in handling it it feels like that might be hard. It would have to be done with the bottom part as well. So, where I can grab it better. Yeah, so I think we'll leave that one for another day. Try it again next time. The balance seems like it's not going to work for me today. Well, you know what? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Won't try three times, but we'll try two times. The problem is that the weight is all behind me. But if I get down enough and underneath it, and use my back to scooch it up, get it off the ground, and let's see, one, two, three. <sighs> yeah, baby, yeah. So, next time you come across an aluminum picnic table that wants to take on my block's strongest man, you tell it where to go. You tell it to come here. You tell it now. And until next time, ciao, homie. <laughs>